Greetings brothers, this is Rose Time and today we get another one of the Elite League Division A playoff games and it's again on Calaris Desert and the big boys here, Valerio on the top side going for the Inquisitor where uh, kind of a uh, especially Zero has really con good control and AoE, Pergatus um, has uh, Really good control on the other heroes, or um, can get that uh, really nice range weapon. Inferno pistol, send Inquisitor to the left side to the requisition, Guardsman to the uh, power, and going for a normal build of uh, a Sentinel and double Guardsman. His opponent is uh, about carry and uh, of best noob, and uh, he's uh, kind of a uh, supporter hero. Can control that uh, Inquisitor, I guess, with the Customize a storm altar. Best noob also going for a tactical marine squad. Perhaps you're gonna see double tags. We shall see. It's a good, uh, it's a uh, good and uh, metal build versus uh, IG. Hammer of the witches into the apothecary. Uh, obviously, imperial guard at the start do pack a punch, especially with the sentinel. And uh, on the right side, guardsman just capping. Note down for Valerio. So, Apothecary versus the Inquisitor. Inquisitor obviously uh, is a good control. Uh, well, Hammer of the Witches is good versus a Poe. And uh, can do some Stormtrooper calling me stuff. Uh, but I think Apothecary is a decent matchup, especially with the Salt Marines. Let's see if uh, Best Noob gets some. Well, um, Assault Marine is uh, more common versus the Lord General, but uh, I don't know. Maybe we will see the Assault Marine eventually. Or uh, at the best Devastator versus the Sentinel. But uh, with the double tax that Best Noob is going for, uh, I guess Sentinel is going to be neutralized. Okay, uh, Valerio putting down double generators. Best Noob has no gens and no uh, notes so far because he has double tax. And uh, double tax is going to balance the. Uh, Firepower at the start versus the IG. Obviously, it's really expensive. It requires 900 requisition actually, but uh, yeah, you're gonna get your uh, money's worth out of it. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, Inquisitor, Knight's nice Hammer of the Witches into the Apo. First power purchase for Valerio is Rosarius. Nice special attack here. Apothecary out with the retreating. <clears throat> Inquisitor tanking a lot here, and uh, these dudes, the, the other dudes, don't have their uh, sergeant here. Yeah, they're just capping on the right side. Nice job by Valerio. Uh, Val Hero doesn't have, uh, hasn't killed anything yet. Has no experience. Okay, he has some experience, perhaps a scout model. Yeah, on the guardsman. Sentinel with the stomp, nice stomp here into the tactical marines and uh, best of decaps and goes forward with the kraken rounds versus the sentinel. It's gonna take a lot of damage this sentinel. Trying to path block. Guardsmen are, can uh, are repairing this though. Guardsmen also retreating before losing models. Okay, he goes for devastators. And um, it is a good control versus the imperial guy, especially in tier 2. You're gonna need that possible. <coughs> Excuse me. You're gonna need that possible last cannon, or uh, yeah, he has the vengeance round, but he can go for last cannon. Yeah, he might actually uh, keep this. This is still good versus vehicles. And yeah, we see we see a lot of those that were uh, play versus the Imperial Guard, especially versus the Lord Commissar and, and the Inquisitor. I guess uh, if you go for a self the Inquisitor has uh, uh, that power weapon of hers. Anyhow, Flamer here, bashing one generator, two generators actually, is good versus the Catechins. Catechin Devils are on the way, by the way, in the field. For Valerio, doing the Grenade Launcher, all reliable into the Devastators. Okay, Sentinel uh, peppering at these Tactical Marines, they have to take the cover now. They have taken the cover now, and uh, they're gonna shoot down the Sentinel, no repairs, yeah, repairs coming from the Guardsmen. Really good map control for best two with the uh, double tags and the devastators. Tactical Marines is still bashing. Okay, they have bashed um, a couple of generators. Nicely done here by best two. 
Apothecary trying to get rid of the guardsmen, which are meleeing down. And uh, Inquisitor indeed has the Holy Brazier. It's really good power weapon versus Marines, tactical Marines. And uh, has Holy Power. Well, I guess Holy Power is not that useful versus Marines. In any case, uh, double cap here for best noob and really uh, nice pressure here. And um, this is kind of Valerio's stuff. He goes for. Uh, I've seen that he goes for the Force Commander like this as well, like uh, buying the Power Sword and going for the uh, Force Commander Shield. And uh, he has gone for the Inquisitor's Shield right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's Holy Power into the garrison. Come on, the scouts. <coughs> Didn't lose a model. The scouts with the sergeant. He's needed versus the... <coughs> Excuse me. He's needed versus the Catas and Devils there. And, uh, yeah. The explosive and stuff like that. They can also infiltrate. And, uh, Purification Riots. Okay, that's a little bit strange. I would have expected the, uh, if any, uh, war gear on the Apothecary, that would have been, um, I don't know, customized Stone Bolter. But I guess you can use it on the, uh, Tactical Marines or, uh, the West Sector when Inquisitor is closing, but, yeah. Okay, Catch and Devils with the Shotgun Blast, perhaps, uh, a heal into the Tactical Marines there. Devastator is uh, setting up in a different direction. Catagen Devils are uh, bleeding a couple of models on them and retreating away. Eventually, Best Noob is still in here. I don't know if a uh, spotter would have been a good choice here. Uh, Apothecary has gone down though. Apothecary has gone down, but he's gonna get Laram and Blessing. Yeah. Really useful. These tanks are still bashing, still bashing, and. Uh, Best Noob, though, doesn't have any generators because of the high upkeep and uh, he has the double tanks and the Devastators and he has bought uh, Apothecary Purification Rights. He hasn't bled, though. He hasn't bled much. Yeah, he should, he should play some generators. At least one. Catch an explosive there. And tanks! Are gonna retreat, so are the Devastators. Exploded. The uh, catch an explosive. Detected rather by the scouts. Apothecary is still in the field. Goes for the customized Stone Bolter. Makes sense. At this point, Best New, despite the fact that he has bashed the generator from nearly completely, yeah. I, I think three gens and a node. And uh, despite the fact that uh, it is happening, um, he's gonna be attacked. Because he has two war gear on apothecary, he has the sergeant and shotguns on the scouts and flamer and the devastators with the upgrades. So yeah, lots of uh, lots of power expenditure. Although inquisitor, ooh, wow, goes for interrogator's armor. Well, uh, if the scout sergeant is around, uh, that interrogator's armor is gonna be useless. <clears throat> but other than that, it's good. Level two inquisitor, by the way. Okay, nice. Guardsmen and Catrin, not much experience on the map. Well, I guess experience are actually nearly the same. I didn't expect that from the Imperial Guard. I expected less experience. Anyway, uh, Valerio can go tier 2. Yeah, goes tier 2. And Best Noob is way, way ahead from tier 2. Definitely is out. Tech. He has a full power farm, though. He has a full gen farm. <coughs> Excuse me. Versus a possible Chimera, this Vengeance Strides is gonna be okay for a while. <laughs> Excuse me. Damn. Uh, okay, tier 2 uh, nearly done for, uh, halfway done for Valerio. What's it gonna go for Chimera? That's a Patriot's Chimera. Anyway. We shall see. Perhaps he has queued it. And that's why his uh, requisition on power has gone for. Uh, uh, has disappeared. Anyway, uh, 400 to 415. 2 to 1 at the moment for best new. And yeah, Catch and Devils really don't like the flamer. But, uh, and best new is still pushing this. Still pushing Valerio's farm. Uh, the Sentinel is dead, yeah. Customize the Stone Water. Really aggressive play here from best new. 
really just uh, obliterating this power farm. I don't know if uh, Valerio, yeah, he hasn't queued anything. He, he can go for the Chimera 5 power in, in, in 5 power. <laughs> <coughs> in five power when he has five more power okay nice power bash attempt and uh, indeed he has the chimera 65 uh, power and 300 the position but yeah Bestum has a really good map control he's gonna get a uh, triple cap as well unfortunately the sentinel went down for valeria that would have been useful actually for decapping and uh, or uh, perhaps a missile launcher versus uh, things. Uh, I guess Bestum is not gonna go for Razorback. Ra Razorback is not good versus Imperial Guard. A simple Sentinel can uh, actually uh, counter that. Also, Catachan Devils have the Melter Gun. Okay, Valerio going for the Power Bash finally. I haven't seen Valerio Bash in this game. Let's fly Adila Grenades. Okay, uh, only taking on two Guardsman models. And here comes the Chimera. Best Noob's uh, favorite unit in the field. And the Stormtroopers. Hotshot last guns. Best weapon for a Stormtrooper. Okay, uh, so Power Bash return. And Valerio in tier 2 suddenly um, having a good com, uh, impact here. The, uh, buying the Stormtroopers and uh, Catch and Devils also are here. Guardsmen, are they going for uh, the uh, Commissar next, or uh, Valerio wants to uh, replace this power from first? <coughs> Inquisitor with the uh, Rosania is going forward, but yeah, here comes the Apothecary Customizer Stormbolter. In, uh, control the Inquisitor. Dank Inquisitor. <laughs> Inquisitor retreating, uh, catch and devils, you do not want to stay in here, even with this, help you ruin the <laughs> Devastators. Oh wow, catch and go down. And tax with the, yeah, tax with the sergeant, perhaps double sergeant even. It is good versus Imperial Guard, but, well, perhaps maybe not versus Guardsman. This best noob, uh, Reinforcing these dudes, uh, well, they have a flamer. They have a flamer. I don't know if he's he wants to go for a stun guard weapons, but uh, these tags are already leveled up. <clears throat> Another devastator for Restu. And uh, despite the fact that uh, Dark Hero is still out, tech, this this doesn't look good for him, especially with the catchers going down. Now those guys are gonna hurt him. No detection in the field. Stormtroopers coming out of this, and um, still no uh, commissars on the guardsmen. Inquisitor retreating. Stormtroopers reporting ready. His power farm is in shambles. It's destroyed. The right side uh, guardsmen just cappers. Oof. Because ah, uh, stormtroopers. They're hurt a lot versus the flamers. Okay, they, they, they take one of those tactical marines. Here comes the uh, commissar and uh, last cannon. Okay, he has double devastators, one of them for last cannon to control and uh, take care of the chimera. Grenade is dodged. Okay, uh, it's gonna be the plasma gun, so fully upgraded guardsmen on one squad, the other squad just cappers on the right side. Mr. Do something, let's do something interesting. Valeria's new name. Let's do something interesting. Indeed. This is something interesting. <laughs> you don't care if you lose, let's do something interesting. That's uh, more interesting. Anyway, uh, so it is the uh, Stangard veterans. The flamers do, the flamer dudes. Keep their flamer, they're not gonna be a stand guard. Veteran. Nice shotgun blast. It, it is scouts, man. Really annoying this Inquisitor. Inquisitor leveling up to 3. For the is Apothecary. Uh, Apothecary is also level 3. Minecraft is dead. No, it is not. 
Okay, uh, the stun guards are gonna back it a little bit, and uh, th this is the good control, like last cannon uh, behind the devastators and uh, just scouts uh, detecting everything and apothecary healing everything and the stun guards. Uh, and the tactical marine is basically bread and butter. He has no capper units though. Best noob is just uh, concentrating his forces on this side. 251 to 334. And uh, I guess this push is gonna make guardsmen go back. They are bleeding a lot. Doesn't matter, they are guardsmen. 19 HP. <laughs> 19 requisition. Reinforcing three models at a time, but uh, eventually, yeah, you're gonna lose your requisition if you're gonna keep reinforcing over and over. Yeah, Valerio's economy is really bad, and okay, he has another stone trooper squad, double hotshot blast guns, also plasma cannons in the field, uh, so lots of devastators for resting. He has a lot of control versus this Inquisitor. Finally, Inquisitor is gonna. Uh, yeah, go after the Devastators. Now he's gonna go after the Plasma Cannon. It's gonna be uh, customized as Stoneball Tilt. Yeah. Dark Guardsman just uh, peppering this uh, Apothecary. Uh, Inquisitor is dead. Yeah. And Valerio is in trouble. His requisition is not good. Definitely not. His power actually a little bit better. His uh, requisition is not good. And the scouts looking forward to throw a grenade into the guardsmen. There's also plasma cannon. Yeah, destroying those uh, alien eggs. And uh, 251 to 301. Anyway, uh, tanks are level 3. Uh, this, um, I think Bestum has been in here in the middle for ages, constantly. <coughs> yeah, Manticore, 375. 300 requisition and 75 power. Okay, nice to see Manticore in the field, uh, Guardsman constantly reinforcing. Cadians reporting for duty, sir. They're gonna go for the doo-doo. Okay, let's see how this Manticore does. Uh, obviously, good versus uh, the setup teams. It's gonna annoy best now. And finally, Guardsman getting double commissar. He doesn't need any power, Valerio, for the rest of the game, I think. But uh, in his requisition to provide the Inquisitor, most of all. <clears throat> and that Inquisitor was actually doing some really nice work. Even cap this uh, requisition point. Double guardsman with the plasma gun, but uh, not when there is a devastator and a plasma cannon. <clears throat> In addition to a uh, scout squad just roaming around, detecting everything, all those stormtroopers. But right now, what are you doing? Valerio, shoot these. <clears throat> Retreat grenade, Adila grenades. Okay, didn't have enough. Uh, for a grenade, he didn't have enough energy, that's why he went back, but yeah, yikes. Maybe he is gonna have enough for now, and... Okay, didn't take any of these. Damn, that's unlucky. Even one model. Okay, uh, now he's gonna take care of the map, and he's gonna take care of uh, the victory points, Valerio. And here comes the Razorback. Hmm, at this point I think it's okay. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, Valerio, uh, well I guess he can just drop in another Stormtrooper squad for the uh, Meltagon. But Meltagon is gonna be detected with the scouts constantly just uh, being used at it as detectors. And um, yeah, this apothecary, lots of stuff in here. And that Razorback is uh, not gonna go down that easily. As the um, has the um, smoke as well. Okay, Manticore strike is gonna persuade devastators to leave. Inquisitor finally on her feet. Okay, take, uh, killing one of the scouts models with actually plasma pistol of all things. 
<coughs> I've seen plasma pistol actually um, being uh, pretty okay. I don't know if it was uh, buffed or something, but uh, at the moment, <laughs> plasma pistols are okay, especially in the Inquisitor. 251 to 224, 1 to 1 at the moment. The close on victory points, although uh, positioning and, um, well, basically, best noobs. Uh, Concave or positioning is uh, really good at the moment. Nice defensive. And uh, he also has a razor back in the field. Yeah, this is trouble. This is trouble at this stage. I am pinned here. Double grenades. Taking nothing. Uh, last cannon. Uh, I guess. I guess the last cannon, but uh, what's it gonna do versus the plasma cannon and the scout squad? Yeah. If only Sentinel was around. If only. Gosser, I, I guess, uh, so, yeah, guardsman inside the Chimera. What level are these dudes level 2? These dudes also level 2. Okay, uh, again, Best Noob uh, loses, uh, like, uh, Valerio loses the middle, the victory points. Uh, it's been a constant fight to take this ground in the middle <coughs> for ages. Guardsman just going for the left side cap. Uh, they're gonna be hurt a lot, though, especially without the Chimera in here. But uh, Valerio doing crazy Italian things, and uh, he's just going forward. Nice, uh, nice job by Inquisitor. Also has the Inferno pistol. Yeah. Good job, Inquisitor. Um, up like uh, a stormtrooper taking care of the scouts. Manticore strike as well. These guardsmen on the left side just bought time and uh, distracted best until Valerio <coughs> went to the middle and took care of things. And now he has the pistol, which is good versus the Razorback. That's uh, really an interesting choice. There, yeah, but he's uh, gonna be um, having that energy problem. Oh no, Inquisitor is dead. Damn. Really? There's a last cannon though, which is useless. Not the best health fury here. And um, oh, nice grenade! Come on, kill the, kill this shit! Oh god. Plasma cannon lifts. Perhaps five. Ah, oh, two HP is gonna go down. It's gonna go down. Yeah. Heat of Dan. Okay, that's something. Best new one might actually re replace that plasma cannon. Because it was doing uh, such a good job. At this point, uh, what what is best new is going for? Valerio on the left side going for the decap with the guardsman. They just retreated away. <coughs> Level 3 scouts. Level 3. Stangard also level 2. And Manticore isn't gonna hit anything. Yeah. It's uh, nearly impossible to uh, target a Razorback with a Manticore. It's nearly impossible, really hard to do so. Especially since uh, when playing, players are microing them. Okay, uh, Ogrins, uh, interesting, <clears throat> I assume it's gonna be plasma gun here for best noob, there's a devastator, but Ogrins can be infiltrated by the Inquisitor, if Inquisitor wasn't dead. Valerio needs the acquisition, and look at the double uh, stormtroopers on the left, and it's gonna be Dreadnought, yeah, Dreadnought is gonna take care of the Ogrins. Even Assault Cannon Dread is gonna just hurt everything in the field. Everything, literally. <clears throat> I don't know how these organs are gonna operate. If only Inquisitor was alive. If only. Shame that it is not. These uh, Stormtroopers just hanging out, chilling in front of this, uh, I don't know, structure. Building. Whatever it is. Cave. Near level 4 tanks going after Guardsman. Guardsman retreated. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Okay, Dreadnought is in here. Is it Assault Cannon? No, it's... An yeah, he's going for Assault Cannon. Infantry is gonna be screwed. Where the Flamer dudes? These level 3 uh, tanks are gonna be really good versus those organs. <clears throat> Rebot the Inquisitor there. And remember, this thing actually reinforces everything. <clears throat> Best Noob really likes reinforcing. Oh no, Inquisitor doesn't have enough energy to infiltrate these organs. Ah! Uh, that's the Manticore Struck doing a little bit of damage to Razorback and making these Devastators uh, retreat. And uh, with that, Organs can approach forward. Unfortunately, Organs have retreated already. <coughs> and uh, yeah, Valerio in really, really, really big trouble. If only he was tier 3 and he could have gone for a uh, Lehman Ross. Yeah, instead of those shitty Organs. Yeah, I really don't like organs as a unit, to be honest. Oh, yeah, you. Yeah, could he have gone for a Lehman Rosa? I guess not. In, not even with uh, not buying the organs, he could have not gone tier 3, I guess. Um, how much uh, are organs? I, I think 500 acquisition. Perhaps if the Inquisitor <coughs> wasn't dead, he could have gone for a Lehman Ross. But yeah, Inquisitor went down a couple of times. Now 233 to uh, 63. Honestly, this game uh, uh, looks to be over unless Valerio uh, does some crazy Italian shenanigans. Inquisitor uh, infiltrating the organs. There's the Devastators though, and there's gonna be detection. Manticore strike into the Devastators, and <coughs> organs are gonna go after the Dreadnought. But Dreadnought is tough. Dreadnought is tough, although not much in here at the moment to take care of the Ogrens. There's a shotgun blast, he can buy time. And Valerio using this time to cap the left side of the map with the Stormtroopers. Ogrens retreating before losing and leading. <coughs> okay, nice dodge by the Stormtroopers here from Assault Cannon Barrage of the Dreadnoughts. Best Noob and Valerio nearly pop capped. Nearly pop capped and ah, oh, guardsmen, what are you doing? Re retreated away uh, a little bit too late. I think these are dead. Maybe, yeah. One HP guardsman. <laughs> yeah, they do go down. They do go down. Okay, uh, I think Valerio gave it a good try. Give it a good try, and um, now he's gonna get best nuked. Yeah. Best Noob doing the Best Noob things, and Best Noob being Valerio in here. Another Manticore strike into some stuff that uh, these dudes are uh, getting judgmented. And they're gonna go back, the uh, Scout Squad. Squad. Scout Squad. Yeah, Inquisitor has to do a lot of things. He has to go for this ability and uh, on the units and uh, possibly the vehicles and uh, she has to also infiltrate the organs. So needs uh, lots of energy. Fortunately for her, she has this which ge gives her some energy and also is leveled up. So he has quite a little bit, uh, quite a lot of energy. Last kind of obvious choice versus a uh, Dreadnought and a Razorback. Razorback might be going down. Come on. Yay! Razorback is dead. And uh, Ogren is going after the Dreadnought. Dreadnought is going to be fine. 205 to 60. And uh, these guardsmen just reinforcing from the Chimera. Another barrage. And um, yeah, Tactical Squad do have the uh, Plasma Gun. Uh, why did these organs retreat? Uh, okay, they lose one model. I guess uh, uh, they would have lost the squad and bled a lot if they would have uh, stayed in the field. Look at Valerio's power, man. Look at L Valerio's power. As the Imperial Guard. 
Okay, uh, last cannon can take care of the dreadnought if uh, it has vision. Yeah, it has vision. <laughs> Hell fury struck. Okay, Valeria doing some stuff in here. Damn. I spoke too soon. Looks like a crazy Italian play with the Manticore and the Hell Fury and Ogren's constantly uh, being infiltrated by the Inquisitor and uh, perhaps a uh, 2 to 0 Cavalry entry. Last cannon, come on, go forward. Manticore. Ah, barrage. Damn. Uh, yeah, some troopers dead. Best noob micro. Valerio is getting microed. Here, uh, there's one Stormtrooper squad in the field is capping at the moment. This Dreadnought has done a lot. And uh, what is Best Noob going for? He can't get another Dreadnought. Stormtrooper is retreating. No other like grenades. 2 to 1. And uh, Ogrin is infiltrated. Infiltrated, there is a scout squad in here on the left side. Okay, they are going after the devastators. Nicely done. Oh wow. Really timely really retreat on the devs. Got it. Now here comes the plasma guns versus the ogrens. They're gonna take a lot of damage. They're gonna take a lot of damage. At the moment, uh, this last cannon has neutralized this dreadnought, but not forever. Nice features of cover. Only one cover would suffice for all these cards, but look at that. Yeah, they're gonna t uh, make another one. And another one. They have 100 points, sir. This last cannon uh, trying to hunt down the Chimera. Okay, nice issues of Angels of Death. Uh, another Manticore strike here, perhaps, and Hell Fury. Oh, 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 last cannon. Oh, 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 last cannon dead. Hell Fury in here, and the Inquisitor going after the last cannon devastators there. Really lucky Stengard veterans with three models AD257, then Valerio doing a really nice job just to come back to this game. Inquisitor. Uh, capping the left side now. Another assault cannon barrage. Na this this threat, not man. Is the plasma gun in here? Yeah, this is the plasma gun. Come on, shoot down the tanks. Not even the organs can approach forward. Not even the organs. Look at all these dead guardsmen. Wow. Many of them have plasma guns. Lots of plasma guns for the Space Marines to collect. Because there are actually um, Space Marine plasma gun models. Yeah, they, they look big in the hand of the Imperial Guard. Imperial Guard plasma guns are uh, smaller. Go ahead, sir. If they get some. If they are lucky to get some. Because, uh, yeah, they only get last guns, shitty last guns. <laughs> Flashlights. Anyway, uh, 49 to 57, another Ogren squad for Valerio. Double Ogrens, yikes. Okay, that, so far they have done a good job. Valerio has to make them work out. Interested to see um, Bulgarians in the uh, November patch <laughs> and Gretchen's. I hope so, I hope so. These scouts have done a lot. Like, um, if they didn't exist... Uh, yeah, best move would have been in so much trouble. Everything infiltrated. Uh, from a stormtroopers to um, Inquisitor infiltrating his stuff. It's gonna infil she's gonna infiltrate the organs, I assume. 80 uh, requisition and 20 power on the uh, organs. It used to be 100 requisition, so uh, it's, it's a nice change. Uh, 25 power, sorry. It's a nice change to have. This Manticore uh, need level 2. Okay, infiltrating these organs. Is the uh, is the Ogren leader? No, it's not gonna be infiltrated. Damn, Valerio should have made it. Oof, oof! This barrage, man, this barrage has killed so many squads. At least three. Inquisitor going down. Ah! Valerio is going for the decap. It's 
going after a Stengard veterans with these Ogrens and... Oh, wow! Orbital Bombardment on the Ogrens. Okay. Interesting. Come on, retreat this. Oh, no! Chimera getting Orbital. Okay, it's gonna back it, but uh, yeah, Valerio's army is destroyed. Valerio is going for the decap, but eventually, uh, yeah, it's gonna be it. Yeah, this is the game, though. Um, interesting Valerio Italian playstyle. But, uh, yeah. Eventually. Hey, knock it off! Damn, a Lemon Rust would have been so good. Yeah. Even Lemon Rust versus this much shit would have been, uh, like, uh, would have a struggle, but yeah. Okay, uh, Valerio, it's over. GG. GG. We're gonna concede now. Yeah, this is definitely over. Definitely. No, uh, Italian miracle is gonna, uh, make this thing go. Is it still trying? Try harding. Perhaps you can take care of these scouts for some good measure, for some revenge. The revenge of the Manticore. Ogrens go going down. So many Ogrens. They're so shit. <laughs> Such a terrible unit. Only Val Valerio's micro is gonna uh, actually uh, make them work. Stormtroopers not going for a grenade on these dudes. Just prioritizing on the caps. Yeah. Victory points. Best noob knows that. He saw these Stormtroopers, Valerio. He's not an idiot. Okay, you're gonna go for the decap. And Land Raider Redeemer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Dude, this dreadnought. Okay, uh, <laughs> getting customized a stone ball third. This dreadnought man has killed so much shit. It's unreal. So many squads, stormtroopers, double guardsmen, killing a bunch of ogrens. Damn, even a last cannon. Yeah, it's nuts. 26 to 20. Okay, Valerio managed to bring this down to uh, this, but uh, what are you gonna do versus the Land Raider Redeemer, Valerio? Exactly what? With 500 power. Damn. Yeah, let's do make some. Let's make some. Mister, let's make something interesting. Let's do something interesting. <laughs> Let's do something interesting, yeah. This was interesting, I'm not gonna lie, but not practical. Not every interesting thing is practical, but uh, you gave it a good go. But eventually, best noob is best noob. You're gonna get best noob. And still try harding to the end. Been the Manticore strike, the revenge of the Manticore. Did it hit level 2? Yeah, it hit level 2. And yeah, just gonna let the victory points go down. To zero and GG GG. Okay, he's gonna concede. <laughs> Two extra points left. He's gonna concede. Level five Inquisitor, organ shit, Inquisitor. Um, these uh, stormtroopers. Uh, they have so little XP. Level ten apothecary. Yeah, yeah. Level four tax with plasma guns. Say hello to organs. Even the. Uh, the Devastators are level 4, yeah, they've killed so much shit. This Dreadnought is definitely level 4. And uh, look at that, Land Raider Redeemer. Purchase in 1v1. Anyway, GG, that was fun. That was fun. So in tier 1, uh, Bestum actually uh, pressured the IG. Bestum is an IG player, so okay. Double tax and um, maybe because Valerio didn't purchase uh, perhaps the spotters or uh, purchase uh, very few units and uh, I guess uh, went for the upgrades on the Inquisitor. Let's do something interesting. And um, in tier two, uh, well, basically Valerio stayed in tier two and um, the, there was best to actually um, going back a little bit with the Chimera coming to the field and the Stormtroopers uh, in the field and uh, also Valerio power bashing and capping the map as well. Uh, 
but eventually um, best noob went for the last devs and plasma devs and uh, control with the scouts uh, using the scouts defensively not capping with them and customize the stone bolter to uh, control the stone with uh, the uh, inquisitor which was going around within the infiltration armor and stuff like that really zero unit score are you kidding me how did that happen yeah that's that's not fair man <laughs> yeah that's the um result of doing something interesting 38 minutes though wow real long game yeah commander discovery inquisitor did okay but unit damn 225 yeah, so so much shit died, and uh, these organs are so shit. <laughs> organs are so shit. But anyway, uh, that's um, th that was the game for today, and um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, this has been Rose Time. Take care and Godspeed. See you later on the another Elite League Division A play of Cast. See you around. Bye bye.